Hi and welcome and today we are doing a very short video. I bought these two um, lights a couple of weeks ago. These are for example to use um, on the bicycle. I bought them for my kids bicycles because they have so such small bicycles that they don't have like a generator and standard lights. So I needed something and these are reasonably cheap and big enough that kids can handle them and uh, seem to have pretty nice uh, um, light power output, battery life, etc. They use a lithium battery inside with a micro USB port here. They have one button to turn them on and you can dim them a bit and then let them blink in different patterns and then they turn off again. However, um, the white LED here broke so the button doesn't do anything anymore and uh, yeah we already opened this and figured out that the switch here broke off everything is smd components here and uh, the switch simply broke off wasn't soldered very well it seems to the pcb and that should be an easy fix for us right we could just solder it back i hope um, but we'll have a closer look at that uh, the same might be true for this one so we might uh, open this up as well and touch up the solder joints a bit add some fresh solder and hopefully then it will work again so first thing to do is open this up all right so here is the lamp in its whole glory. So there's, let's see if it focuses. Let's focus down here. So there is three LEDs on the PCB. The white PCB here, you can see the traces. And then if we turn it around, it's pretty simple. So down here, we have, I guess, the charging ship chip. Um, probably there are the two LEDs indicating charging and finish charging so it will light up red and green respectively um, the micro USB socket of course so can we figure out what's written on those microchips uh, something or rather but it doesn't look very useful to me so these are probably some, yeah, I can't make it really out. Maybe you can make it out, but it doesn't look like a proper code. Um, so one will be the charging chip, probably this here. And this over here, I would guess, will be the microcontroller doing the uh, driving of the LEDs, turning it on and off and stuff like that. And that's it. There's uh, two resistors here. Um, one more resistor over here. This one's a which way round? Is it 511? I don't know. Here's a 202, so that should be 2 kilo ohms, I hope. Um, 150, 150 ohms? Probably. Probably in parallel? I don't know. But this here, up here, is the um, the pad where, or the pads where the um, switch should be, actually. And it looks like the pads are still there, and only the solder broke. So I will clean up the solder, because it's probably the lead-free one, and I will clean it up with the uh, desoldering wick. And then put some fresh new solder on there and solder the switch, which is here. It's a tiny SMD switch. Its pads look also pretty okay. It's still doing the switching action. Yeah, that's all very teensy, but uh, I think we should be fine. So this will be going here like that. All right, so I'm going to heat up the iron, take the soldering wick and and we're ready to go. All 
All right, so it's a bit of a fiddly repair and I would have to clean off the uh, flux here, but as you can see, there are now four new shiny solder blobs. And uh, when I push this, I can't push it anymore. Haha, <laughs> because the solder just went stiff and I think there might be something inside there now. It used to work just a minute ago when it was still hot. Well, so much for that. Um, those are the things that might happen. So we will have to uh, retouch this and try to get some of the solder out there. So that was too much solder. And uh, yeah, it's obviously not a good idea. So we'll just wig away a little bit of that. Okay, so that was a fun experience. Um, now everything works. You have the three modes, bright, dimmed and blinking. And uh, yeah, I just had to uh, heat up this thing and wig away a bit of solder. So basically I think it pours into the case actually, if you put too much on there. So be careful when you do that. Um, however, this should be now so much solder that it probably will not fall off until the whole thing gives up, uh, most probably due to the battery going bad. Uh, but even that you could replace. Uh, nowadays you can get any kind of battery size on eBay or Alibaba or whatever. And yeah, this is a nice little lamp. I try to put it all back together now and then we have repaired a bike lamp. That's very nice. Okay, uh, it works. So we just screwed it back together and all three functions work. And this is my soldering iron complaining that I'm not taking care of it. Um, switching it off now. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you learned something here. It's often easy enough to fix some of these cheap gadgets. I will put it on the children's bike again and they will be safe hopefully. And yeah, if you liked it, hit the like button. Do consider subscribing, this helps very much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.